Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Create Your Connections Readings. My name is Jean, and this is going to be a pick a card reading, pick a pile reading, to see what makes you irresistible, okay? I want to share this because I feel like it's so good to, like, raise the spirits of the person, right? Because, like, the higher the vibration, the more we can actually co-create with divinity, thereby co-creating heaven on earth. So the better you feel about yourself, the higher the vibes, the more God vibes. We have four piles to pick from. For pile number one, we have this cool Dutch little shoe thing. I always want to make it walk. I don't know why. Like, because it's a shoe, bro. Of course you want to make it walk. Because that's what it does. <laughs> and then for pile number two, we have <laughs> this beautiful cow. It's kind of a strange energy today. Like, <laughs> uh, this cute cow. Daisy. She's such a giving spirit, Daisy. Truly, truly. Like, always just wanting to give and share. Don't get on her bad side, though, she's saying. Like, don't get on my bad side. <laughs> Why, dude? Anyway, uh, for pile number three, we have this golden chocolate queen. With the queen. Yas. Yas, queen. Yas. And then for pal numero cuatro, we have this ring. Nice silver ring. Yeah. So once again, those are the four piles to see what makes you so irresistible. Pick your pile and I'll see you there. Sat num pal number one. For I never realized that that actually could rhyme. Sat num pal number one. Did I? No, I never realized that. Anyway, this is going to be a pile. <laughs> this is going to be a pile. You're reading for those of you who picked this. That shoe. This is going to be a reading to see what makes you so irresistible, or all. Let's see. For pile number one. For pile number one, what makes me so irresistible? Irresistible. Three of cups. Hit me with the three sins, sometimes you won't. <laughs> um, for pile number one, what makes them so irresistible? Okay, so yeah, okay. So three of cups, queen of pentacles. I saw the six of pentacles as well, and that gave me this like giving vibe. Uh, pile number one, I feel like what makes you so irresistible, all right, is that you f you're very giving with your love, okay? Um, you're not shy to give. Intense. We have the Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and Judgment. Um, pile number one. What makes pile number one so irresistible? I feel like pile number one, what makes you so irresistible is this is giving me like I've been watching Wednesday recent like 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 in in the present I've been watching Wednesday okay this is giving me actually kind of like Morticia Adams vibes it's like maybe you've endured a whole lot of bullshit as well right um and I don't know you just like look so fucking well doing it it's almost like if you've maybe dealt with like really intense like um endings really intense death energies and shit like that um I don't know, you just, you just like come out of that looking really beautiful. I'm, I'm getting this vibe of death becomes her. Like you look good with, with, um, with densities or you look good in the darkness or something. Um, never forget I blossom in the moonlight. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, this three of cups is giving me a little bit of a confusing energy, quite honestly. I can't completely... Um, see this here. like you might you might be goth or you might actually resonate with like being a vampire heiress empress person um, I like that I like that a lot so um, but, but that's the kind of vibe I'm getting I'm, I'm, I'm trying to convey there okay what is this three of cups I'm getting like yeah quite honestly like Morticia Adamsy vibes not necessarily that you dress that way it's just like like your demeanor like your personality like you are very comfortable in your darkness. Um, like, the Ten of Swords and the Judgment is giving me a lot of hectic energy. It's, like, very, like, like apocalyptic -y energy, okay? But you're, like... Oh, wow, Gomez, like... 
mm, just smell the, <laughs> you know, like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting here, okay? Um, I want to get another card quickly for this Three of Cups because I feel like it does want to say something, um, but it doesn't want to fully reveal its secrets to me. And I keep seeing the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're very chill. You're very chill in like shitty situations or with like shitty circumstances or in endings with deaths and shit like that, you know. With Ten of Swords situations, you're very like... <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, and that's what makes you kind of irresistible, Paul number one, okay? So we have the Four of Swords again. Definitely, you're very fucking chill, Paul number one. I feel like that's what the Empress... Judgment still, right? Hmm. What makes you so irresistible, Paul number one, is I feel like you're so much in your power. You're so much in your... In your um, yeah, like your your inner knowingness of self, your illuminosity of self, <laughs> if that's even a word. I don't think it is, though. I keep seeing the Nine of Cups as well. You're, like, so much in your power and in your Empress energy, stable within yourself, okay with your darkness, okay with whatever, that, and, and like, really, really chill with that, that, like, you just, like, you just seem very <laughs> approachable. You seem like, like, like... I don't know, like, you're somebody to tackle the end of the world with. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Some of you might... Death, exactly. You're, like, somebody that... I don't know, you're an empress that has some kind of, like, again, um, like, knowledge of death or, or some kind of, like, equal give and take with death. Like, you understand death, rather, right? You have this understanding of death. And um, that makes you irresistible. I feel like there, there's somebody specific here that, that is that is finding you irresistible, Empress, okay? This person themselves, I feel like, also has some kind of, like... I feel like this person themselves also has some kind of, like... Um, knowledge of the other or something okay or this might even be a group that's maybe why the threesome energy came out temperance five of pentacles um ten of cups judgment yeah uh pile number one what makes you so irresistible is you have this kind of like demeanor about you that just like yells like um balance and resurrection and like um like you want to meet me with hell like that's fine you want to meet me with heaven that's fine like you know like i feel like you can go both ways in some way here but i feel like that's because like <laughs> that's because you're very chill <laughs> like uh, your ch but your chillness comes also from your willingness to just be like okay whatever something like that okay um somebody really likes that demeanor of yours it's like hmm, whatever kind of vibe I'm still, I still don't understand this Three of Cups though. Like the Three of Cups keeps trying to say something. Oh, eight, oh, eight, I just saw. Three of Wands and the Sun. The Wheel of Fortune. Give me one card on that Three of Cups, please. I think maybe you're also just very fun. You're like very easy going is what I want to say. Uh, maybe that's why the relatable thing came up. The Chariot. Um, two of, two of Air, Ten of Wands, Nine of Air. I feel like you're very, you're very relatable in the sense of like you're very easy going. You're very easy to to just be with because you're so chill, pal number one. Um, I also feel like like people like you're easy to choose, and if you're not, if people don't choose you, they feel some kind of way about it, which kind of makes you even more resistible to them because like almost like putting you on some kind of pedestal or something like that. Um, <laughs> anyway, the world. Somebody here might be well-traveled or you might actually like traveling. That also makes you, that yeah, that makes you really irresistible. Like, I feel like this specific person or somebody wants to, like, travel the world with you or something like that, okay? There's this person that also has this info on the other, the nethers. The ne not the nethers, the other world is what I'm trying to say, okay? <laughs> um, so let's get, I feel like just one more card and that would be sufficient for you, Paul number one. Just to get, like, an overall... Queen of Swords, <laughs> and with this, uh, Queen of Swords, the devil, Jesus. I was the, the the Queen of Swords. I actually wanted to say that's the damn truth. This 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 reading, just trust it. Like you're cool as fuck. You're like you're like you're like chill. Okay, like you're um, 
you're cool, like Polaron. I feel like what makes you resistible, you're, you're just cool. Like, uh, you know, like the, the, the I don't want to say the typical, but we have a lot of death energy here. Again, death. So there's a lot of like gothic, maybe like, again, Morticia, Adams y kind of vibes. Um, Wednesday kind of vibes. It doesn't have to be exactly that. It could just be like your perception of the world could very much be this kind of way. Anyway, um, you're very cool, pile number one. Like, I just think you're very fucking cool. Like, uh, I feel like in some ways you might even intimidate people a little bit by your coolness or by your suaveness is what I'm hearing. Um, so yeah, like, I hope, like, that you like the video, Palomar. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Palomar. That was your video. That's maybe how you make people feel, okay? Uh, please do consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you again for another one. Satnam, bye. Satnam, pile number two. For those of you who picked Daisy, the cow, this is going to be y'all ready. Shall we? I don't know why I'm doing this. What makes you irresistible? Some of you might have an accent. That might make you irresistible. I'm hearing like British. A British accent. Or maybe, maybe. I don't know. Somebody may, might just have an accent. Okay, so pile number two. What makes pile number adult so irresistible? There's the Princess of Swords. Okay, if, okay, I'm already getting what makes you irresistible. It's like a lot of people watch you or a lot of people like... I don't know, like, I'm getting somebody on on a campus, like, somebody somebody here is on a campus or something. Um, I, like, I'm seeing, like, sorority kind of, like, university kind of stuff here, okay? Um, like, people like watching you or, like, you're the talk of the campus or you're, like, the talk of the town or something. Like, people like watching you or, or like, uh, you know. Okay, let, let's just continue. Princess of Swords, Judgment... What makes Palomar too irresistible? The world. The moon. Uh, you have kind of intense energies here as well, Palomar too, but like not intense necessarily as in dark, intense as in um, like intense, okay, like big energies. Palomar 1 also had the judgment card, um, not on the floor though, it just showed itself, so um, yeah. Princess of Swords, Judgment, the world. So, like, definitely, I feel like what makes you irresistible is that people can't... I'm hearing people can't help but watch you. Um, I don't know why the campus energy came up, but that might be significant for somebody. Um, in regards to the campus energy, that felt very much love-related, like a lot of suitors, okay? That being said, I just want to continue with the other energy. I mean, look at this Judgment. Like... You know what makes you irresistible is I feel like you have this ability. Interesting, this might relate to number pile number one in some kind of way. Because like both of them are made of anyway, like you have this ability, pile number two, to maybe like resurrect yourself, okay? Like I feel like you have this ability to resurrect things from the dead. <laughs> like the world. You like I don't know, like people like watching or like seeing you resurrect things in your life like how the fuck do you like what like 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 the things was underground the things was there and now like what like look like you were like dead and rotting and all of a sudden you're like sexy and dancing again looking all voluptuous and shit like how are you doing this pile number two um i feel like that's what makes you irresistible i just heard test i feel like somebody's been like testing you or something. Um, let me just release this energy. Oh my god. Lovely. Um, yeah, like with the moon as well. I feel like it's almost like somebody's been testing your balance and your ascension. And like, I don't know, maybe, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if this is like a, a, a spirit or an actual person, but um, do you know? Do you know that you are like passing the test with flying colors and you keep passing the test with flying colors even if you don't know that you're being tested you like keep being like all six of pentacles nine of pentacles about it like uh, and that's what makes you irresistible quite honestly i mean look at this yeah exactly exactly let me quickly show you this let me quickly show you this uh polymer two what makes you irresistible is like like you like maybe you're like um like, like, you were killed or something? You, like, you were, like, like maybe spiritually murdered or, like, spiritually tried, they, like, tried to assassinate you or something like that. Um, but, like, see, that person's looking that way, but so is this person. Like, 
you're not actually in this energy of nine of swords you're actually in this energy on focusing on growing something or focusing on focusing all of your attention on something that you already have you know focusing on the good focusing on the cup that you already have um and this is bringing you even more success even more victory okay like you're very powerful magically speaking okay this is what makes you very fucking i i just heard attractive even okay but this this is what makes you irresistible polymer too I feel like, you know that meme, <laughs> you know that meme of that like guy that like stands like this like and he like tries to explain like me trying to explain something to me like I, I just felt like look at this, oh, I just felt like that, anyway, I do even, anyway, followers, <laughs> yeah, eight of cups, um, the sun, a lot of resurrection, the devil, a lot of res resurrection energy here, it's almost like, um, I don't know, maybe some of you, I'm, I'm getting like heavy druggies, maybe somebody here was like a heavy, heavy drug user, and I'm talking about like heroin and cocaine and shit like that, okay, like, like somebody's life almost got completely fucked up, but yeah, you kind of like walked away from that, you like resurrected yourself from that, okay, um, temperance and the ace of wands, and you made your, like you breathed new life into yourself, okay, obviously by the grace of God, you know, but like, sure, you did this yourself, right, as well. Um, but yeah, that's what makes you irresistible, Palmer. You did something like that, Ace of Swords. You did something completely, yeah, after, like, look at this. The Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, the Tower, and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and then the Ace of Wands still, right? It's like you died, but then you resurrected yourself into, like, something completely brand new. And that's beautiful. That makes you um, attractive and sexy as fuck. Eight of Wands. Um, this is a lot of, a lot of, um, like, I just heard victory and then some, okay? And the, now I'm seeing the King of Cups with the Ace of Cups, the Hermit, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Um, I feel like there's also maybe for you, Palomarchi, somebody specifically watching you, somebody specific, like, um, knowing about you. Even though a lot of people are watching you, there's one person specific, or if there are, like, a lot of sutures, maybe, um, there's one specific suture that is, like, really, like, um, in it for you, okay? Um, oh god, I actually feel like there's two. Yeah, of course, two of swords, four of pentacles. You're gonna have a choice between... That even makes you irresistible, because you have choice. You have a choice between a king of pentacles and a king of cups. A king of pentacles and a king of, king of cups. Um, you're gonna have to choose who to, like, settle down with. That makes you even more irresistible, because it's almost like this competition. Thrill of the chase or something like that. Ugh. Um, but, like, I would go for the king of pentacles, because that would be your, um... I would say... Maybe, is it the King of Pentacles or the King of Cups? Because, like, you presented yourself as the Queen of Pentacles here. So, when I'm seeing a lot of cup energy, go with your intuition, Paolo <laughs> Um, Let's get two cards of this. Just know that you're going to have a choice and that's also going to make you even more irresistible, okay? Oh, damn. I see somebody chariot, somebody being like, chariot with the Nine of Pentacles being like, no, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> With, like, both, even. Whew. Um, interesting. I feel like somebody somebody might actually decide to, like, be co completely, like, just single. Um, but even that makes you more attractive because I feel like nobody was giving you what you want or nobody's going to be giving you exactly what you want and you're just going to be like, nah. This chariot with the ten of wands is also giving me this, like, um... This energy of this temperance, this like, you're, you're just going to be like focusing on yourself, taking your spaceship and going like, pew, you know, metaphorically speaking, focusing on your money, your stability, just focusing on investing more, focusing on your future, basically, Palmer 2. That's also what's making you very irresistible, is the fact that you are doing this. Uh, maybe you already had this choice and that's what you did and that's making you very irresistible, okay? Um, either way, like, yeah, very independent, very like... Very bright, very shiny. I also feel like you don't settle at all, okay? You, you like, you, you refuse to settle in any kind of circumstance. Like, you know your worth. You know how much you shine. Um, yeah. And, like, I feel like a lot of other people know this as well. And a lot of people, yeah, want to collaborate with you. But, again, I feel like you just, like, being like, I'm good. I'm good. La, 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 la. <laughs> I like that. Um, so, I feel like that's sufficient, Palmer, too. Thank you so much. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you again for another one. Satnam. Bye. Satnam, a pile number three for those of you who picked this two pound coin. This is going to be re. This is going to be a reading 
to see what makes you so irresistible, Archon. <laughs> Let's see, for pile number three. Ten of Cups, starting off well, nice, I like it. A look at a lot. Ten of Wands, Jesus, alright, but we have ten tens, so a yas. Temperance and the Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, what makes Pile 3 so irresistible? Just heard everything, everything. And the Queen of Pentacles. You know, like, you know, you know, I just feel like what makes you irresistible, part number three, is like your ability to transmute shit into money. Like, you transmute shit into abundance. Like, you're like... Poof. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the vibe I'm getting here. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like what makes you so irresistible is like you, um, you transmute bullshit into money. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Like, like all of the elements is here. Like, all of the elements are here bef except for air. And, like, big element element cards are here. Um, like, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles, you know. Um, so, I feel like you have some kind of, like, mastery, quite honestly. I mean, look at this. This Ten of Wands is fucking beautiful. I never saw this planet. Is that Saturn? Oh, my God. Um, you, pile number three, I've, I'm feeling a lot of, like, powerful energy here. I'm feeling a lot of, like, um, like, 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 spiritually regal energy, okay? Um, like, if, if, like, like, you, the star, exactly. Like, you're, like, you would be considered spiritually, you would be considered, like, an immortal, um, or one of the elders, rather. Something like that, okay? That energy carries over, okay? Like, it carries over into your physicality. Like, people notice this about you, okay? Um, like, your energy is just very powerful. People know that, like, 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 even though it's a Ten of Cups, you're like, you, you've seen some shit, right? Like, this, like, this energy, like, like, speaks of, of, um... Like, you might be very young, like, but you have a very fucking old soul, okay? Um, and that, like, ancient, ancientness, like, again, you've endured a lot in your spiritual experience. And that ancientness, like, really carries over. Um, but, but, like, yeah, like, you have this, this ability to transmute shit into money for yourself. Um, it's also something, again, that's very specifically coming up. Two of Wands. Yeah, like, look at this guy. Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. But look at this guy. This guy's, like, very regal. Very, like, um... Like, <laughs> you know? <sighs> Man of Swords, death. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like... It's like it's giving this vibe of, like, like... Like, what are you gonna throw at me? Like... Like, I've seen it. I've seen it all. Here, Here's the Ten of Swords as well. Like, you know, I've been stabbed. You're, like, probably even walking around with, like, gaping wounds. Like, people being able... Exactly. People being able to see through the gaping wounds. But you're, like... <laughs> and, like, like stretching. Because you're the star kind of vibe still, you know? I, I'm, I keep hearing melancholy. Melancholy. Is this just me? <laughs> like watching like because I watched the the show a bit three of wands a lot of expansion here pile number three um I'm also getting this vibe pile number three what makes you resistible yeah exactly nine of pentacles is that you can't be trapped or you can't be held down or you can't be um I don't know you 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 you, you, you. <sighs> You can't be trapped. You can't be caught. You can't be, um, like, put in a box. Like, I feel like you're too big to put in a box, quite honestly, palm number three. Like, um, uh, the three of wands is all about expansion. I mean, like, look at that. Th this woman is touching the fucking sun, okay? Like, um, you're too big to be caught in a box or to be in any kind of, like, um... L let me get quickly one card. What exactly is this? Is this, uh, nine of swords? Um, oh yeah, it's that energy of like, exactly, it's the Ten of Swords in Reverse, you see. Um, I, I forgot a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but exactly, it's the Ten of Swords in Reverse. It's the fact that like any kind of ending, any kind of 
a ten of swords is like is like like child's play for you you know like like this bullshit is like you're just like very like <laughs> justice and people people can again people can see that you've been hurt like it's almost like you're maybe in some way like oh my god today's reading is like very much more macabre maybe it's because i'm wearing this thing because this is a magical thing it represents something but like, I mean, it's almost like you're some kind of walking dead or walking zombie or something like that. Or you're supposed to be a walking zombie or something like that, okay? Um, interesting that I would actually say that because that's giving similar vibes to pile number two. Like resurrecting themselves, like from the dead. Anyway, um, it's just like you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't care about things. You're, you're like a very old soul. Like nothing really phases you. Um, uh, and you have, again, you have this ability to turn things into money. Like, uh, like you, you again. You also like have this like understanding of death being just like another another like process for you to use in order to grow money. Six of Pentacles as well. Okay. Um. Let Let me get two of these cards. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Judgment. I should probably be using like like other decks as well, I feel, but I don't know. Seven of Pentacles, uh, the Magician, uh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you have an ability to manifest a, a lot of um, anything into money, quite honestly, uh, Parliament 3. I don't know why the money keeps coming up, because I kept hearing like shiny, shiny as well. Um... Like that song from Moana, the crab, like, I want to be shiny. I feel like maybe you are very shiny. Death again. But now this death is actually again reminding me of, like, Hades. Who was the, like, like, Pluto was actually the, the rich god to the Romans. Because all of the, all of the diamonds and jewels uh, belong to him, okay. Um, like, I do need to say, during this, during this, um... I feel like I actually went through some kind of weird death experience in your reading right now, pile number three. Um, like, I felt like it, it was almost like some kind of, like, spiritual attack happening on me or something like that. Um, but I just, like, kind of went through that. So now I'm again just like, so anyway. Um, do -do 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 -do. So I feel like that's also something that makes you very irresistible, okay, pile number three. You, you like, um, I don't know, you... you uh, I don't know, like this Ten of Cups with the Ten of Wands is giving me proper space vibes here. It's giving me the vibes of like, you've seen shit, you've been places, like, like, not, like people can't surprise you anymore. Like, come on, bitch. Something like that, okay? Like, you, you just died and were reborn during this, like, fucking pile reading that we did. <laughs> Something like that. That's the truth. Queen of Swords. Um, you have nothing, the Emperor's death. Yeah, I feel like you don't worry about shit, um, anymore. Justice, Ten of Swords. If you're not in that energy just yet, you're about to be in that energy of, like, not, not worrying about things, like, at all. Like, not giving any more fucks, pile number three. And I feel like that's some kind of, like, divine justice being offered to you. Um, that's for some, something, somebody very specific. Um, but yeah, I feel like, once again, pile number three, you're a very old soul. You're, like, very, um, your, you, your energy is extremely fucking powerful. Um, it's so powerful that, like, you can, you can carry on a conversation while you're, while you are being, um, presented with a Ten of Swords energy. Like, so, like, while you're being stabbed by all these Ten Swords, you, like, continue having a conversation. Um, that makes you powerful. That makes you, like, irresistible, okay? Um, this is even giving the vibe of, like, I don't know why, but I'm getting this vibe of somebody, like, bickering with you, and then, like, I don't know, like, they get, like, really, really, really fucking personal, but you're just, like, <laughs> Um, and then you can, and then you like lay them to waste or something like that, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Palm Number 3. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again for another one. Satnam, bye. Satnam, Pal Number 4. For those of you who picked this beautiful, beautiful silver ring, this is going to be a reading to see what makes you so irresistible or what. So let's see for Pal Number 4. Pal Number 4. What makes Pal Number 4 so irresistible? Same, same, but different. Why am I getting that? Three of Wands. Um, I feel like you're very different. The Three of Wands because of like the... <laughs> um, okay, Temperance. Yeah, because you are some kind of starseed earth angel. Pile, pile number four. 
the three of the three of wands and then the devil card i feel like you are you come off as somewhat very exotic or some kind of taboo or something okay quite honestly is what i'm feeling here um yeah this makes people this makes people feel very much like um um, imbalance within themselves okay this makes it makes even like this some some yeah it makes balance people feel a little bit imbalanced or something like that uh, but you seem very exotic very different very um like forbidden almost okay <laughs> and like that like is really attractive the hermit is also giving me like shiva but yeah exactly like like people like like or somebody like the, somebody thinks you're like very like no okay um forbidden like i keep getting like forbidden love romeo romeo death jesus yeah look at that mm, i'm getting a lot of sexual energy here like i'm feeling a lot of sexual energy here um and the five of swords but what is with all this like deathly energy oh my god i feel like it's prob oh, okay okay anyway uh part number four um what makes you so irresistible is <sighs> like I I feel like you're very sexually attractive, quite honestly, Paul and Four. I'm feeling a lot of fucking sexual energy. I feel like somebody just wants to like rip you to shreds, like but like sexually, like like literally like fucking like like uh, like uh, i'm getting a lot of really intense energy here like a lot of sexual energy maybe maybe you are very good at sex okay um i feel like this is something that's like very unexpected because you're this hermit's energy maybe but then i don't know when once you like kiss somebody or once you like connect with them sexually it's like this like it's over with so this death card like once you once somebody connects sexually with you, like, it's over with or something like that. Like, that's the energy I'm getting here, okay? This is a lot of sexual energy I'm feeling. What is this Five of Swords, though? Like... I'm actually... <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm actually getting this energy. It's actually somebody, like, lying on the bed, like... <sighs> Like, not, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> part number four. Um, I feel like <clears throat> even the lovers as well, even though you are some kind of, like, star seed or earth angel, like, again, that's why maybe it's so unexpected. Look at this. You're, like, very sexually, like, attractive or very sexually good. And this is something that's not known or expected of you okay people you might be you might seem very like doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 but then i don't know like you yeah i feel like like i'm feeling a lot of sex for you palmer for your sex makes you your sex your sex appeal your um i feel like maybe even your your like the things that you're i, I just heard cringy i just heard, I, I feel like the the, the the like the things that you're interested in sexually as well okay like i feel i feel like very i <laughs> this is very like yo. um <laughs> um i feel a little bit almost like like shyish or i don't know how to explain this energy but like you might be this way i'm even getting like like librarian vibes or something like that i don't know like you're a freak or something follow me for the magician the empress judgment anyway let's let's get <laughs> let's get two cards from this deck <laughs> Pile number four. Knights of Swords. Somebody here might even be so, like into like Dom or some shit like that because that's what this Knight of Swords is giving me the High Priestess. Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles. Somebody might be into like, um, uh, like shit like that, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm, I just heard I'm all for it or something like that. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, the High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles. Um, I feel like, I feel like what makes you so irresistible, Palm number 4, is that you, yeah, like, because I heard Christian Grey, and I'm also seeing the Emperor. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you are some kind of, like, Christian Grey, but, like, uh, or you're with some kind of somebody like that, or something like that. Um, somebody here is very kinky, okay, that makes you irresistible. Somebody here is very, like, 
sexually explicit, I'm also hearing, okay? Um, I feel like what makes you irresistible is, again, like, once people have sex with you or, like, something like that, like, it's over with. They're, like, stuck. They're stuck by you or stuck with you or so, like, or you're stuck with them, rather, because they're, like, <laughs> they don't want to, like, leave, okay? Um... I feel like you have like very good sex, quite honestly. Nine of Pentacles. This is giving me a lot of like, um, like sacred, like sacred, like sacred punani is what I'm hearing, okay. And, and sacred penis, sacred phallus. Um, that's what I'm hearing, okay. Like magical, like sex. Quite honestly, pal number four. <laughs> um, I want to actually get because I all I all know, I only use like these um these two decks for. All the readings, so I'm um, only for you, Polymer 4, because this energy was so... I keep hearing explicit, that devil keeps seeing it. Maybe some of you even like going out in public or like exhibitionist kind of vibes. Trust in higher forces, like everybody's seeing you. Um, not everybody's seeing you, but something like that maybe. Um, or I don't know, you're game for shit like that. I don't know, Pile Number 4, you're just like very kinky and that makes you irresistible. Okay, I'm just going to get you one Oracle card so that we can... <laughs> Dream and Journey... This dream and journey, this devil card is like really watching me, like really eyeing me, like, you know, like, bow, chicka, bow, wow, okay, like, <laughs> I keep feeling very intense sexual energies, like, he, he doesn't, like, he doesn't want to leave me alone, just like, um, maybe you just bring this kind of energy out in people as well, okay, uh, Polymer 4, but this dream and journey card is giving me this energy of like, like the devil's playground, like it's this weird, like, like, vibes, like, like, it's dark and the light's purple, but it's not a lot of light, and like, this, there's this faint sense of like lotion, and like, you know, that, like, this is the kind of vibe I'm getting for you. Um, I'm not saying like you're doing this with like, th this feels very much like, again, like I'm getting like kind of Christian Grey, um, kind of vibes here. I don't know if you are that person or if you, or with somebody like that, but that's what I'm getting here, Palmer. For just a lot of kinky shit, a lot of like um, sex play and like <laughs> ravagingness. Anyway, Palmer, for I feel like that is sufficient. Okay, thank you so much, Palmer. For that was your reading. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again for another one. Satnam, bye.